So the stars have aligned. It's been hard work and there are a number of steps in the preparation process with regard to permits and all of that. Then to pick the perfect moment for flow. It's been one of the worst droughts in California's history with only 5% snowpack, followed by the wettest May in years. So now Pat and I are as ready as we'll ever be to write our own little chapter in the history book of kayaking. All that's left to do is to get out there and get it done. For this to be happening today is a big day. It's great to finally be on the trail. Our plan is to hike our kayaks and gear into the Merced Valley over Tuolumne Pass to start at the main fork of the Merced River and then kayak about 15 miles of whitewater to just above Nevada Falls before our final hike into Yosemite Valley. It's been a long road to this point and it's hard to believe that we're in Yosemite National Park whitewater kayaking. into the Merced Valley now and we just got our first look at the river and the flows look awesome something that's always been a big concern of ours and we're headed upstream now and we'll arrive at Washburn Lake which is where we're going to camp out. Well I calculated that we total hike was 17.6 miles getting higher. Top about right. Longest one I've ever done. Great day today though man. It's a pretty eventful day and I'm really excited because this will be the first permitted run of the Merced. All the pieces have come together and here we are. So there's nothing left to do but to go kayak. It's our river day one and so far what we've seen is really promising. The character of the rock and the riverbed has been really good for kayaking. We run a bunch of really good white water, but it was all quite open and spread out. This is the first gorge we've seen where it really pinches up narrow. A little chunky in here, but it looks like if we're left, it's okay. Oh, a big hole. Oh. Big hole. Oh, that's a bit juicy. Gnarly looking wall too, man. That's bad. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Flow's a little high right now. It's late in the afternoon. Snow's had a bunch of time to melt and get down the gorge. Yeah. I think we're here at the highest point of the day. Uh, so there'll be this fluctuation in flow through the day and we're hoping that perhaps in the morning the water's a bit lower and that uh, maybe we get to run this particular rapid. So we're going to set up camp. What a great first day. We're stoked to have been on the water. It couldn't have gone any better. And tomorrow's another day. This is our biggest day on the water. We camped just a little upstream of this because the water was high yesterday and I was a little concerned about the middle move in the set of three drops. The rivers dropped slightly like we'd hoped, but not quite as much as I would have liked to see. Uh, we've heard word that there's possibly a bit of weather coming in. So the last thing we want is to find ourselves in the rain or even snow. And uh, we certainly don't want to see the river spike to unrunnable levels. We've just arrived at a crux gorge that we've always known would be kind of a key moment in this trip. It's the hardest section of whitewater and now it's started raining. Now the river's risen and we're not really sure if the gorge is even going to be runnable. With the rain it's not really looking good for us but we're keeping our fingers crossed. Basically the situation we're in 
is that if it continues to rain the way it has, we're not sure we'll be able to kayak anymore. We've worked so hard to get to this point and we've been preparing for months. So it's really a tough thought to imagine not being able to finish it. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens in the morning.